okay you can also add uh, title here and i will add the symbol uh, symbology here as well go to this dynamics and add title from here and you can change uh, also map frame uh, you can also uh, add scale relative scale this is actually your map scale now the export scale one is the export scale and the other is the primary scale that you have done your work on that map it's actually the input scale depend on your from where you have digitized uh, or you have collected your data like when you are working on google earth so google earth have the resolution of uh, in some places like uh, 5 meter 3 meter and, and in some places it have a resolution of 30 meter so it's depend upon where you are working in the google earth so uh, in this place the google earth resolution is some uh, it, it's to 15 meter resolution so the input uh, resolution of this map is 15 uh, one ratio 15, uh, one ratio 15000 and the output is one ratio seven lake eighteen thousand two zero six. All right. Now you can also add a dynamic text here. Let me add text here, or you can also uh, add different polygon and arrows as well. Now let me add text, simple text here. I'll, I'll make it as a title now zoom in here and give a title here geological So this is my map title now go to the text select select this text and go to the, then go to this the text you will not see any text here okay first select this text now go to this the text tab and change the font size i will change the font size like this and let me make it bold I will reduce the size okay like this now you can also add a north arrow scale in legend as well uh, first first I will uh, insert legend to select to uh, insert legend select this frame and now click on the legends you can drop down uh, you can uh, select uh, click on the drop down and different formats are available but i will recommend you to click here and like this and now drag your cursor like this so you have all these legends now adjust it right on the right side you can also change uh, for example i don't formation in this name i don't need this name so remove it from here it will automatically update there the js have the capability to update here like this not like this okay so it has been updated now let me remove it from here as well and if you want to arrange all of uh, okay so let me show you one thing one thing more select this uh, click on this 
arrow or drop down and I want to change the order of these formation I mean uh, I want to change the order like uh, first formation then structure uh, then study area and then structures so let me um, drag it into the top and the study area in the middle and structure into the bottom like this so it will arrange like it here as well and if you want to show a legend over the top you can right click on these uh, and the legend Okay. Now this properties and show the title of the legend and you can change the title from here as well. This is the title but you can change it like this. Let me change it. Legend Hingol Map. So it will automatically update it but I don't need it but I don't need the title the legend title so let me get rid of it so you can change the extent of the and you can also add border to this uh, to these legends from here the border let me give it a black border like this this is the actual border of the legend now let me once again go to the properties and you can also give a background to the legend uh, like this this is the background to the legend now properties and you can also add shadows like this let me give it a black shadow like this but and you can make it rounded like this but I don't need the shadow I will select no color okay and let me get rid out of the background all right and also for now I don't need this uh, border because I want to add a whole border over here for the legend so okay and if you want to change something like uh, uh, you cannot change anything here but to change something like uh, to change it here freely you can go to the you can write you can um, right click on it and then go to the convert to graphic graphics now once again right click on it and ungroup it so you have now ungrouped it like this this is these are un, all ungrouped now once again right click on it and once again ungroup it and now you can change anything from here like this like this and you can make it bigger like this like this and if you want to change something like here you can do it but now when you change anything here it will not automatically update it because it has been converted in, converted into graphics so let me undo undo okay all right now add a scale i will use a kilometer scale i will add a scale here so this is the best place for it in, uh, in my map so i will add it here and you can also change the scale properties you go to the scale bar you can change the stroke of the scale like you can color it as well as let me make it uh, color like this like red but the black is perfect for here and you can also change the size of 
this stroke like this but one is perfectly okay you can also change the text and text regular bold narrow font size and also the size of, uh, size of the text you can also uh, adjust uh, or format or right side or centralize you can also make it like this but uh, in all in, uh, this is actually the scale bar now you can play with the design as well like uh, the divisions and the subdivisions we have only two divisions so i can th this is actually the major two subdivision two the major divisions two division uh, from 0 to 23 and 23 to 26 I can change it to 3 like this so it will add in another one like 0 to 15 15 to 30 and 30 to uh, 45 like this and you can also change the subdivision further to 5 from 4 to 5 like this okay all right and another thing is uh, you can change the unit from kilometer to meter you can do it like this uh, as well as you can select kilometer and if you want to uh, change the position of this kilometer symbol from so you can uh, label the position like above center below before labels after labels before bar after bar I will I will uh, select below center like this you can also place this right here but let me change it into by default before labels uh, after labels like this and let me change the label to only km km c like this all right Now you can also add north arrow. You can select any one. I will select this one and drop and drag it here like this. Make it centralized. All right. 